I would say uh, three things. The first is all the greatest signs you look at and people think, oh, for him it's so easy. Uh, no, it's, it's a cliche perhaps, but it is true that it's 99% hard work. Don't expect to come up and see this kind of, oh, that is so beautiful, I want to do that too. I'm going to join that group and we'll do that. I don't care what you do, if it's interesting, or even if you want to do something useful and really high quality. And when people look at it, it'll look and they'll say, well, that's great. And it's obvious and it's simple and I could do it. It's 99% hard work. I don't care if you're a genius, okay? These guys, geniuses, they work 99% of the time hard. Then they write, the, they write the result on the back of an envelope and they say, oh, it's the back of an envelope calculation, number one. Number two, I would say don't lose yourself in the narrowness of the work field you're working on. You're working on an NMR problem with respect to some pulse sequences to solve a problem of NMR right now. Read science in general, read physics, read journals like Nature and journals like Science, Physics Today or whatever other broader field of science you're looking at, Scientific American or whatever. Um, so that you can see the context, you, you'll discover strange relationships between things you didn't think of. And the third is, for the really bold kids, if somebody tells you something's impossible, it's well known that this is not possible, so do this and this, don't take that for granted. Don't say, okay, it's impossible, I'm not going to do it, because uh, that's most of the things that are interesting turned out to be peripheral things that maybe were useful sometime, and then became a central theme. Keep it in the back of your mind and say, well, why is it impossible? Oh, here's why, all right? Why is that? And it may be proven that it's impossible. That's one thing. If somebody can't prove to you that it's impossible, don't stop thinking about it.